I'm really pleased because I've just solved a problem today. When I make papier-mâché bowls, I don't have a time constraint, so I use any kind of glue I want to use, any kind of paper. I might make plaster of Paris moulds, and I take my time. But when I do a workshop, if it's a weekend workshop, that's absolutely fine, because I can just follow my own usual way of doing things. But I've been asked to do um, basically a half-day workshop. And so, in fact, it's probably less than that. It's probably about an hour and a half. So it's going to be an hour and a half uh, showing people how to make a bowl. Now I can show how to do it, as I say, properly the way I like to do it, but I can also show how to do it very, very quickly in about an hour, completely dried and ready to decorate. And then the person I'm working with, Sarah, is going to be showing people how to do lino cutting. And that, again, has to be done fairly quickly. And then the idea is to use the lino cuts to decorate the bowls. And the bowl making was beginning to worry me a little bit. Um, so this morning I woke up and thought, microwave? You see, I never have a microwave at home. I tend to eat mainly raw, and if I do cook, it's not on a microwave. But I've got one in my office, in my studio, because I found out last year that you can actually dry very small papier-mâché components, like beads and brooches that I make, for a few seconds in the microwave. And then I thought, well, maybe I could do a whole bowl. Anyhow, I'll show you what I did. First of all, this is my... It's a funny old shape because it was actually done in a parrot's dish, but really hard and actually rather beautiful. Just flour, cornflour and water. That's it, in the microwave. So, I had a Parix, the only one I could find at home, a Parix dish, which I have lined with um, cling film. So, quite roughly really, because the cling film only stays in for the first couple of layers. And then try and push it to the edge of the bowl as much as possible. So that's that stage. Then it's... Um, Back to front, we call it cornflour over here in the UK, and I know in America it's called cornstarch, same thing. So a little bit of that added to the plain white flour here, just an ordinary cheap plain white flour, and then I whisk it up. It's kind of one part flour to one part water, that's the way I do it, and I whisk it up in a blender and put it into a bowl. And then I just used whatever was to hand, which happened to be this morning, photocopy paper. <laughs> Photocopy paper. Photocopy paper. So basically, into the um, flour and water mix, like so, and then carefully just push it. Can you see it? There it is. Push it against the side. Repeat ad infinitum, and then stick it, the whole thing with the paper in, in the microwave. And I reckon on a medium heat, um, 30 seconds and open the door, take it out and let the steam come off, then pop it back in again and just keep on doing that until it's dry, which doesn't take long, just a few moments, minutes, and then repeat the same back in the microwave. I did it three times for that and it's really hard and it's hard enough to use in a tutorial for decorative techniques. And then I just finished off the edges and put a few bits around the side. So I suppose all in all, four layers. And it took me under an hour. And I'm really and in that time I was working outside in the corridor and I was stopping and talking to loads well, loads of people were stopping and talking to me, so I stopped work and talked to them. And I'm really, really thrilled. So I think that leads it open to doing all sorts of things. Obviously, I didn't add salt. Salt apparently stops it going mouldy. Well, obviously the mould will come because the flour and water glue is hydroscopic, meaning it will attract water and therefore create a damp environment for mould to grow. But having a microwave to hand means that you can keep putting it in the microwave and then when it's decorated, sealing it um, with either, you know, mutt varnish or beeswax, but making sure it's thoroughly sealed. And then the mould can't get in. So, I'll show you the next stage. Bye.